Hey guys, welcome to another news breakdown here on Soto Pop. Soto! Alright, as always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos, and today uh, we're gonna be taking a look at everything that came out of the Common Rider Candy Toy News Vlog uh, from this weekend. Uh, I know we're a little bit late, but you know what? We're here now, so it's fine. Um, so, yeah, uh, we didn't get too much. We didn't get like an explosion of news like uh, the last few weeks, but we did get some substantial stuff. Uh, we got three reveals actually, and they're all very blue. Uh, so, let's just dive right into our first one. Uh, first up we have Kamen Rider Zamonis from the Geo uh, movie. Now this guy is actually going to be our first reveal for AI-08. Um, not sure why they sort of like skipped to him, but uh, I guess we'll get to some sort of speculation in a little bit. Uh, the first thing that they wanted to note about this guy was like the paint detail that was put into him. Um, he's got plenty, you know, like at first glance, like from this image, it it is very deceptive in how much gray is present, but when you look at the figure as a whole, like there are two different tones of brown on this guy. There are gold on his shoulders. Um, the, the reds and the blues are all painted. Like, I'm sure this figure was like just gray. So they need to like punch him up with a little bit of extra stuff and like it absolutely works here. Uh, so you're, you're getting tons of, of paint value uh, here in this figure. Um, another thing they wanted to note was that his bow, uh, you can actually like separate it and you can, this never happened in the movie, but you could plug it into his fist and just have a fan mode of a, a less uh, powerful weapon. Um, but yeah, that's neat. Uh, but that, again, that's really it for this guy, and he's going to be out in AI-08. Though, we aren't done looking at AI-07, uh, because we have our very first looks, and last week we were teased about Rampage Vulcan. This figure is incredible. Um, they, they tried their hardest, um, to make sure that there was tons of molding to represent each and every animal that is part of this form, and I think they pulled it off flawlessly. Um, this does look like that sort of metallic-y plastic that they sort of start to use, um, much in the way that, uh, Burning Falcons was, but this one does seem to me a little bit... I don't know, There, it's it seems to be a quality difference, though that's that's from looking at these images. I'm sure in hand it'll it'll come out really nicely. Um, it's just that I'm noticing a little bit of marbling, uh, perhaps, so I hope that this plastic is, is durable enough uh, for the task. Um, another thing they wanted to note was that his weapon is remolded and he gets like the, the weapon version of it and the belt version of it. Um, another thing as well, uh, a, a, another great paint breakdown. We haven't gotten these recently, so to get them, you know, one after the other is fantastic. There's tons of gold and blue on this guy, and I am wondering, after seeing them break it down like this, I am wondering how um, the chest was made, what it was molded in, uh, because they, they are pointing out that they painted some of the blue on that chest. Was it all the blue on the chest? Um, I'm not sure, because that, that, you know, sort of shimmery metallic blue is, is poking out, so I wonder, I don't know what all they did, it doesn't look like paint on that, that shimmery blue, so, was it all painted? I am interested to see, um, where this thing ends up. Uh, anyways, next up, uh, oh, actually that was it, <laughs> that was it for Rampage Vulcan. Uh, I love it, it looks great, uh, but this is our wave layout. Uh, for AI-07, it's not our typical one, uh, and I was speculating with Josh and Malunas from, uh, the Soda Pop podcast, and, um, we're pretty sure that this isn't all we're getting for AI-07, like, this isn't the be-all, end-all, um, and it was very strange that they didn't give us, like, the full wave layout like they usually do, uh, so that is, <coughs> excuse me, that is rather suspect, um, and I am... You know, I'm looking forward to getting that full layout. Anyway, that's it for mainline stuff. Let's head on over to Chronicle, where we are taking a look at this other very blue boy. Uh, this is 
Soto Chronicle Kuga Dragon form, uh, and he's looking fantastic. And I, I might wager that he is slightly better than Kuga, um, in a few meaningful ways. Uh, let's take a look at this breakdown, and we get to see, you know, the head. Um, I don't know that he has the compound eyes that Kuga had, uh, just because they don't like glow like those did. Like I don't know, I don't quite know. Um, really how to express like that that sort of uh that glossy glow uh that the other eyes had but either way um they didn't say anything about the horns uh uh being like molded in in gold pvc and then painted right over but i assume that's the case here uh but you know if it's if you get it in hand and it's not pvc then Oops, my bad. Cause like they didn't they didn't specifically note it, so I'm I'm not sure how that works. I just assume that since since they changed the horns and they look the same here, like change them from what they normally do uh, to what they're doing here. I assume it's a similar situation just to comply with toy safety standards. Um, another thing to really really appreciate, and this is where I think um, it beats out the other Kuga figure. Uh, is that they're using two tones of paint here on the chest. Now, it is front to back. Um, and I went on this whole thing about the bottom part of Kuga's chest having that different color value, and they replicated it here as well without stickers. So they painted it in two different blues. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that bottom lip of the chest uh, has that different, like, has the lighter blue as well so this is this is really well done i very much appreciate the look of this guy um and then uh oh another thing to note is that they they said um if you take a look at episode six of kamen rider kuga you'll notice that the knee pads and the the blue gems uh, around his ankles um one's shinier than the other and the ankles are shinier than the other so they made sure to do their best to replicate that in the stickers. That is some dedication that I absolutely appreciate. This is some good stuff. Um, another thing is that he comes with the rod. We've said this before in uh, the, the pre-transformed state and the transformed state of the weapon. Uh, and he holds them pretty well. And as you can see here, he has uh, the, the holy hands that we got from rod form. And I gotta say, I'm reminded of a lot of things from Deno Rod Form's release because if you take a closer look at this image, um, this seems to confirm uh, some of, I guess, my hesitations to this figure in that it does appear that the blue is all done in sticker and I'm not quite happy about it. If you look under his, his open palm, you can see some of that sticker like already sort of like getting damaged and that's that's the issue it's what happened in uh in deno rod form you put the sticker over the entire rod and he has these grip hands to like you know mangle the sticker so i am hesitant about this figure i and like even painting it would be a um something of a a a risk just because some of that blue might rub off on the hands if um, that grip is too tight. Uh, so again, I'm hesitant about this, um, the, the accessory, but you know what? This is a retail figure. We're getting tons of paint elsewhere. And like, could you imagine trying to paint that at a factory scale? I don't think that that's too feasible. Um, and you know, considering they prioritize the gold, that makes sense because that's a lot harder to replicate in the larger sticker. So I understand why I just, I, I, it doesn't make me less disappointed that um, we are running into another rod form situation here. But you know what, I'm, I'm still grateful uh, for this figure anyway. Uh, another thing to leave off on is that yes, the belts are compatible with Deno. Deno? Decayed. Um, so you can turn him into Decayed Kuga and Decayed Kuga Form Ride Dragon. You know, I, I probably said it wrong, but you, get, you catch my drift. Anyways, guys, that's it for all the news that came out of the blog that, we, uh, that weekend. 
it was a few days ago now but yeah anyways guys thanks for watching if you like this episode hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week the next episode of the soda pop podcast should be coming out soon um and i got uh last week's episode out the day before this so go ahead if you haven't already check that out anyways guys thanks for watching keep it juicy